Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. We're in Frankfort, Kentucky today at Capitol View Park where I'm with the head trail gnome, Troy Hearn. Now Troy has worn a lot of hats, no pun intended, today he's got on a West 6 Brewing hat and he's sporting an AL8 jersey, but we're not doing any branding uh, promotion here whatsoever. Uh, he's worn a lot of hats in the Kentucky cycling community. Troy, tell us a little bit about when uh, trail development first started out here. Well, uh, knowing that we were going to meet today, I was thinking about that uh, last couple of days, and probably 23 years ago. Wow. Uh, a fellow named Larry Reynolds, uh, Larry the Legend, uh, is a local Frank Furter, Frank Fortonia. Whatever you want to call and, us. And uh, he was a mountain biker back in the 80s. But yes. the, uh, we had moved from place to place, and uh, Capitol View Park uh, wasn't here yet. And uh, the then and now mayor of Frankfurt, Bill May, it was his very first term, very first year. So that was a long time ago. That was 23 years ago. Wow. It was about 1993. Okay. Or 92. Somewhere okay. Around there. Early uh, 90s. And the section that we'll probably start today, uh, it's called the first section. Uh, he and the uh, parks director at the time said, we'll give you this rectangle of land to build as much trail as you could and we fit a whole mile of trail there and that's why the first section has uh, 22 switchbacks awesome so how many uh, miles of trail do you have out here now we now have 11 miles of trail uh, that 11 miles is probably 95 percent single track and then we have uh, the green monster as an open field section where you uh, take that to get to another section of trail uh, but there's 11 miles today well, what are some of your favorite trail features out here well uh, being the uh, one of the people that does a lot of the trail work, uh, I'm a momentum rider, so we have a lot of uh, sections where there's short little downhills, where there are little, you know, pump sections or little hip jumps. Uh, probably the sinkholes are some of my favorite, uh, which are uh, collapsed limestone, limestone caves that the trail goes through. Uh, Ryan's Gulch. Uh, anything that's got a name <laughs> in a plaque is a spot, you know, where some people literally just come out here and ride those sections, you know, and the kids and the kids with BMX bikes, uh, and sometimes the grown-ups with BMX bikes will just, you know, ride their bike to that section and just ride that stuff. This is the second of our Trail Gnome Tour series. You can check out the uh, uh, ride video that we did down at Saunders Springs at the link above. Uh, but Troy, tell us a little bit about the tour that you're going to take us on today. Uh, well, we're going to start at the first section. Uh, that was the first section of the trail, first mile of trail to be built. Uh, then there's an old rail bed. We're actually standing. Uh, this corridor uh, is, uh, well, actually just a little bit next to us is an old rail bed. Uh, so we'll go on the old rail bed. Uh, we'll do a section where there used to be a bridge. Uh, it's one of my favorite downhills here, uh, so be careful on that. <laughs> uh, uh, and then we'll do the tour, the traditional loop uh, is counterclockwise, and it's nowhere near a you know, round shape at all, but just that direction, uh, which is kind of opposite direction that the 12 hour race that they have here uh, goes clockwise. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna go the old school, traditional way. Uh, Woodson Smith is a fellow that lives here in town, uh, has done a ton of work out here. And, Larry Reynolds, uh, I mean, there's a, uh, my friend Harry Ryan, I mean, I was like winning an Academy Award over all these people that we should thank for the trail system. But each year or two or three or four over 23 years, different people with their own different techniques and players. Uh, Greg Crabtree is a new trail gnome out here and uh, he does awesome uh, water erosion work. Uh, but he likes to build little water bars. So I'm thinking of a nickname for Greg Crabtree and his water bar that he built. But uh, so many different people have built the trails over the year. Uh, and then that, and then we're just kind of lucky that there's a variety of, uh, I guess, topography here. Uh, and then the park itself is about 200 acres, but we've been allowed officially over the years through state property uh, to extend that. So we go outside of the park, which is right next to the river, then we go up almost a 200 foot elevation gain and you get a whole different feel of a trail up there. So we're kind of lucky uh, that we have all these, you know, land features to work with. And then we've also been lucky to have so many different people uh, over the years that have their own different, you know, things that they like to build. This is 
is the end of the first section, so that's the first mile of trail. And when, I remember when we got to this spot 22 years ago, we ended up right here. And this is an old rail bed. I don't know the name of the rail line, uh, but it went from uh, downtown Versailles to downtown Frankfurt and beyond. Uh, maybe at some point in the future we'll do more with this rail bed because it goes right into downtown Frankfurt. So we thought, well, if we went this way, it basically takes us back out of the park. So when we were building the trail, uh, we just kind of started using the outer perimeter of all the land we had. We went down the old rail bed, and we're not going to stop at the, the spot where the old bridge used to be, but there used to be a rail bridge here, and we got to that spot, and that was really tricky. Uh, the trails changed a lot over the years, uh, but we're going to go basically down and below and underneath where the old railroad bridge used to be. the infamous Capitol View Park sinkholes. Uh, there's three that we've built trails through. Uh, this is sinkhole one. Uh, even though the trail system's not that big and you have defining features like the river on one side and a main road on the other, there's a lot of options. Uh, you know, if you, as you pan around, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five trails to go from from here. So years ago, uh, Kimba and the Frankfurt Park Department thought it was a good idea to put some You Are Here maps 
Uh, so this is an example of one of them. Uh, it uh, was put in by Harry, our trail wizard here at Capitol View Park. Uh, so what's the difference between a trail gnome and a trail wizard? Uh, well, uh, Harry Ryan kind of made that rule, uh, but after 25 years of trail gnome service, uh, continuous service, uh, and when your hair turns completely white, uh, and apparently when your beard and mustache turn completely white, uh, you are then inducted to the trail wizard uh, inductees. Nice. Yeah. So the direction we're going counterclockwise, uh, we're going to go from sinkhole one, which we've just done a session at, our first session of the day, Casey. Anyway, but anyway, uh, so we're going to go to do sinkhole two. It's a much uh, longer uh, sinkhole, and it actually has a bench cut section with a turn, a small downhill, and then a short, steep uphill. So the way we're going, uh, trail tip for sinkhole number two, this direction gain as much speed and momentum as, momentum as you can on the entrance and it'll help you on the exit and hopefully you can see that on the video. Nice. Alright, this is sinkhole number three. Uh, when we've worked on it over the last 10 years, uh, we kind of worked on the flow of it uh, with the opposite direction we're going today. Uh, but I think it's the most fun sinkhole. Uh, it was designed uh, to go the clockwise direction on it. Uh, during the 12 hour race, uh, this is the only sinkhole that we use and it's an option. You can either go through the sinkhole or go around the sinkhole. Gulch. Uh, here in a lot of trail systems, uh, the reason the trail and the feature gets a name is either somebody built it, uh, they unfortunately, uh, something else really major happened to them, or in this case my friend uh, Harry Ryan, trail wizard, uh, was the last person to break his collarbone in this particular feature. Uh, this is a gulch, uh, it's a uh, drainage washout basin uh, into the Kentucky River. It's been a really dry year this year. Uh, but there's times where there's, you know, six feet of water in there. Uh, we've had uh, my friend, good friend Dave Lutz uh, recently redid the rock work in there. Uh, and believe it or not, that's uh, basically the same style of rock laying for roads that the Romans used uh, back in uh, a long, long time ago when the Romans were building roads. Uh, but anyway, you never knew that you would learn about Roman road building uh, when trail gnoming. Uh, but you do, and here we are at Ryan's Gulch, uh, one of the fun features. And we may even do some sessioning here. Come <laughs> on. 
right, we just finished riding through the swamp. Uh, we didn't stop to take any pictures because it's been a really dry year, so there's not any swampy features. Uh, but the reason it's called the swamp uh, is typically uh, years where there's a uh, normal rain or uh, more than normal rain. Uh, we're on a kind of an artificial plateau here. There's nowhere for the water to drain, so any of the low spots that have been created by the, the car system over the years, they hold water year round and it's like black water not the fun stuff to go swimming in right Casey all right <laughs> uh, so we've just uh, exited the swamp uh, I don't know if you see the video of us riding but I think there's like six small bridges uh, we have my good friend uh, Hugh Bloomfield uh, H&K excavation uh, came in and does a lot of pro bono work uh, for Kimba and he came in and did a lot of drainage work uh, to kind of route some of that black water out over the years so it's gotten much much better uh, but every time we have uh, flash floods or really rainy year like last year, uh, we have to replace the bridges because uh, they float uh, out. We've tried anchoring them, we've tried doing stuff. So uh, we have to get a crew of people and walk down a couple of three, four hundred feet and pick up the bridges, and knock all the mud off of them and, and replace them. Uh, but that's the great thing about Kimba. Uh, the last four or five years, we've had a huge crowd of people willing to come out and replace bridges. Uh, this is another one of the UR Here maps. Uh, something happened to the you are here a uh, little sticker uh, but you're at one of the spots uh, right here uh, right next to the river uh, we did go uh, the trail goes underneath uh, uh, the east west connector a couple of spots uh, these are all features uh, on the trail uh, that's uh, throughout the years that's the sinkhole we just went through there uh, this is a feature uh, we're about to go through uh, we've actually rebuilt this uh, it's a little uh, log ride up and over uh, one of the largest trees that have fallen I was in the section we're about to go, and that section is called the Avenue of Giants. Uh, there's some uh, 150 and 200 year old trees through here, uh, and it's really, really cool. Uh, but over the years, we've had uh, flooding, so we've probably lost about 40 feet of the riverbank. Uh, so you can't probably can't see it on the video, but there's some spots where we're going to be riding right next to like a 80 foot drop off right by the river. Uh, but you don't notice it when you're on the trail, so just focus on the trail, uh, and we'll see you in a bit.
All right, uh, we're a little bit out of breath. We just did the green monster, uh, but uh, it's not really that much of a monster, but it's about a 200 or so elevation, 200 foot elevation gain. It's a big open green field uh, to get to this awesome section of trail. Uh, so we're behind the library and archives, uh, this intersection right here. Uh, we're gonna go into Stump Alley and then go into the Pita Trail. And there's actually two other sections of the trail. They're downhill trails called Bonsai and I think you can. And they're off of the Pita Trail. Uh, I don't maintain those. We don't use them as part of the normal cross country races. Uh, but a lot of downhill riders do use them. And it's a great downhill run. Uh, but you also got to come back up because there, there's no shuttles here at Capitol View Park. And uh, th this section of trail, Stump Alley and uh, Pita Trail, uh, were built by Kevin Frittle who's our main trail steward, trail gnome at uh, Skullbuster in Scott County. And then one of my best friends, uh, Dwayne Verini, uh, built a lot of these trails. Uh, Dwayne uh, was a mountain biker from Southern California that moved to Central Kentucky probably 25 years ago. And uh, Dwayne is no longer with us, but every time I ride through here, I always think of him. And I think PETA was either his dog's name or Kevin's dog's name at the time. So, uh, and then Stump Alley, uh, it's hard to tell it now, but when we came in there was uh, two or three ice storms uh, that happened in Frankfurt about 20 years ago And uh, this area was devastated with the uh, uh, trees everywhere. So there were uh, stumps uh, everywhere, but we rerouted the trail through them uh, Most of the stumps are rotten, so you don't have to worry about hitting them anymore uh, So we're about to do stump alley and the PETA trail which the way we're doing it is a downhill for most of it And it is rocking
are in the, the pump track section. Uh, it's not finished. Uh, just as we get dirt, uh, we add a little bit more. Uh, it's about a year or two old. Uh, it's really, really dry. Uh, one of the things that we need to go with the pump track is the water source. Uh, so we'll be working with the city of Frankfurt uh, over the next year or so uh, and putting in a hose system. Uh, the thing about a pump track, especially underneath a cover like this, is it's dry year-round. Uh, but the bad thing is it's dry year-round. Uh, so you can see what happens to the features. Uh, when they get really dry, they start to crumble and fall apart. Uh, but it's a lot of stuff to play with. Uh, our goal is to make this uh, big enough, nice enough, uh, but you know, an eight-year-old can ride it and an 80-year-old can ride it, uh, and certainly a 51-year-old can ride it. And a lot of times, uh, we will have two lines. If you look on there, there's really just one line now, and that's more for the BMX bike or the smaller wheelbase. Uh, but we'll have an uh, outside line that'll be for the larger mountain bike kind of stuff that's a true pump track. And then some of the uh, braver 20-inch guys or 24-inch wheel guys uh, can do uh, some of the jumps. Uh, so this is a work in progress. And here's the Capitol View Park pump track. And uh, just coincidentally, uh, the uh, street artist or the graffiti artist, what have you, uh, I think do a phenomenal job. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks!